standing now in Hebron. Behind me are the walls around the Marta Machpela, the tomb of the patriarchs and matriarchs. The walls themselves actually are younger than the tombs. They're only about 2,100 years old. King Herod the Great built these around the existing cave structure. This is the area, the general area, where Avram Avinu, Abraham, bought this land from Ephron Hachiti for 400 coins. And in those days, an astronomical sum, he was offered this whole area. Take it, you're a prince of the land, take it. He insisted, he wanted to pay a very full price, like David after him, he understood that there'll be people in the future that will say, is it yours, it's not yours, right there in the Bible, contracts right there. And so he paid a very full price, and Abraham buried Sarah there, he was buried there, and the next couples, Rebecca, Isaac, Leah, and Jacob. According to tradition, Abraham chose his place because he knew that Adam and Eve are buried here as well. And so this is the second holiest city in Israel after Jerusalem. Hebron, the city of patriarchs and matriarchs. And this is the superstructure, the Herodian structure, of the patriarch and matriarch caves. From 29, the riots of 29, until 67, Jews couldn't come into the city. Before 29, when Jews lived here, they can come up to the seventh step outside the building. Here, you see, was where the steps were. And for centuries, Jews could come up to the seventh step, not the eighth, not in the building, and that was that. After 67, when Israel came back to Hebron in the Six-Day War, they took down these steps, which is a mark of infamy for the Jews and shame, but people still come here, still pray here, because here's where Jews always did come, had to come, for centuries.